Let's get back to our town hall right now and some really interesting stats that we got from the Greater Buffalo Niagara Regional Transportation Council, which looked at local interstates and expressways during the pandemic. Now, the organization found from March 2nd to May 1st compared to 2018 and 2019, our region saw traffic congestion drop 95%, crashes go down 45%, People went a little faster. The average commute also went down a bit, but you can see the numbers there. Also some really interesting findings when it comes to people riding bikes and walking and joining us live right now to discuss that is the executive director of Go Bike Buffalo, Justin Booth. Justin, we tried to do this interview yesterday at this time, but then we of course had those tornado warnings. Again, luckily nobody injured in those, but we really appreciate you coming back on the show today. Um, we just showed people those changes in driving habits. Um, as for biking though, I want to show people this because you shared some other stats. Those myovision cameras that got installed in Tonawanda showed that since March, biking increased 3,000%, pedestrian activity increasing fivefold as well. Uh, Justin, your group says that while vehicle traffic is beginning to return to pre pandemic levels, biking and pedestrian activity remain at high rates. What are we to make of this? No, I think it's really interesting and our trends here in Buffalo and Western New York are really matching what we're seeing nationally and around the globe. Um, you know, and people are adjusting to these changes in travel patterns. They're working at home. They've got their kids at home. Gyms are closed. Schools are closed. Um, you know, there's no after school programming or sports. And so people are getting out in droves and riding their bicycles. And we've been seeing that uh, demonstrated in our parks, our trails and our greenways, existing bike lanes. Um, they're crowded and there's lots of people that are out there using uh, using these spaces to get out there for their mental and physical health. Yeah, the pandemic definitely got people outdoors, especially as the weather got a little bit better. And as a result, bikes flew off the shelves. Everybody wanted one. We talked about this yesterday, um, the difficulty in finding a bicycle or for a lot of people who needed to get that tune up difficult to do that as well. Talk to me about um, the challenge that that has presented for people um, in the biking and cycling world. Well, I don't think many people realize that even prior to the pandemic with the tariffs that were put in place, it was uh, having an impact upon the global supply chain uh, with bicycles and wholesalers and getting bicycles into bike shops. And of course, this bicycling boom happens. And, uh, you know, you can't find a bicycle at a local bike shop for under $1,000. Um, I know at our community workshop, uh, Go Bike has bicycles, uh, used bicycles for sale that we fix and repair for the community. We do uh, repairs as well, and our repairs are booked out two weeks in advance, um, and our sales are 10% over where they are uh, previous years. Uh, we can't, we don't have enough staff to keep bicycles fixed and have our online uh, store stocked on a regular basis. So uh, it's this is a great time, and we're hoping to see this last. Uh, and of course, working on how we can adjust uh, uh, our staff capacity in order to make sure that we can still make sure uh, we're providing bicycles for everyone that needs one. Yeah, give us a progress report of where you think Western New York is right now and specifically the city of Buffalo. I mean, this is kind of the um, the heart of the region in terms of an urban area. You would expect for this to be more bike friendly um, than rural areas, maybe some suburban areas. How do you think Buffalo is doing right now as we see cities around the country become much more bike and pedestrian friendly? And if Buffalo wants to continue to grow, you have to adjust to that, right? Yeah, we do need to adjust to that. And, you know, Buffalo has a tremendous opportunity. You know, we're seeing cities like New York, Oakland, um, and cities across the globe really taking this opportunity to create what they're calling a 15 minute city. What are the, you know, all the destinations uh, within your community that you need to go to on a regular basis to live, to work, to play? Um, and really taking the opportunity when traffic volumes are down to reallocate the space on our streets and our sidewalks and in our communities to make it safer for people to walk more, to bike more and give them that extra space. So often, you know, it's a trade off between are we going to add more parking on the streets or set a turn lane or add more space for uh, safe cycling activity. And oftentimes, you know, the need for parking outweighs some of those other concerns. Uh, but we're seeing cities adjust to this pandemic and take this opportunity to reallocate the space with traffic times being so low. Um, and it's been tremendous, the response that they've been seeing in their communities. 
um, across the globe of how this is really getting people out there more often and really improving the safety outcomes as well as uh, supporting the economic uh, resurgency as we begin to reopen in our communities and supporting uh, these small businesses uh, as we begin to you know get people out and uh, you know getting into our local shops again. Yeah, no doubt. Justin Booth, Executive Director of Go Bike Buffalo. We're out of time, but thank you so much for joining us. Really great conversation. Thanks for having me. All right.